Hi, I'm Phil Hall for What Digital Camera, and I'm here with Dave Perry from Canon UK to talk us through the new EOS 5D Mark III. So yes, thank you. Um, this is quite a step forward from the 5D Mark II in that this has actually got different AF system. It's actually got the 61 point AF system, which is almost exactly the same as in our one series. It also runs at six frames a second. So straight away you can see this is a different type of camera. It's actually a camera which now can be used for not only landscape photography and portrait photography, which was what the Mark II was renowned for. It can also be used for sports and wildlife photography. What we've done with this is we've created a dedicated AF menu. And in there are, um, are basically case studies to get you started on your AF. And there's lots of things that you can alter, like the sensitivity, the speed, and the, um, the focus points that are selectable. And then from that, you can fine tune it. Um, so resolution is 22 megapixels? Yep, 22.3 million pixels. So you don't see any need to go higher than that sort of resolution? Is that sort of... No, there are some difficulties with going to higher resolutions. The main one being if you're shooting at apertures like f22 or something like that, you can have difficulty with sharpness when you've got the higher resolutions. Also, when you're actually shooting fast moving subjects, quite often you need to use a faster shutter speed to get a very sharp image for a moving subject. And, and what else has changed then? Well, there's, there's, there's so much to talk yeah. about with regards to the changes. I mean, actually the feel of it, the, the button layout and the feel of the camera is more like a 7D, I would say, than a yeah. 5D Mark II. The 7D came from a two-year project where we asked various photographers around the world what they liked about cameras and what they would like to be included. And the 7D came out of that. And you can see a lot of the learnings from the 7D was actually put onto this camera as well. For instance, like the button to go straight to live view and also to go to the movie, um, the layout of the buttons on the top. Okay, and what about weather sealing? Is it a similar standard to the 7D? Yes, it is actually. Yeah, the weather, weather proofing has actually improved over the 5D Mark II and very, very similar to what we have on our 7D. Okay, and card slots? We've actually got um, dual card slots on here now. It'll take compact flash and SD. Um, the compact flash, it'll actually take UDMA7 as well. Okay, so does that have the same 3 to 2 aspect ratio then as the 1DX as well? Yes, it does. This yeah. is actually the same screen. The, um, the million dot screen, as you said, yes, yeah, the 3 by 2 ratio. Okay. What's quite interesting about this is we've actually um, got dual playback on it, which if I push this one button here, you can actually call it more than one image, and then you can scroll through and look at two images at the same time, and by pressing the info button, you can then call up things like the histograms of the two images. You can actually rate your images as well. Um, so if I roll back through onto the full screen, by pushing this one button here, I can actually rate the images. Metering-wise, has that changed? We have our IFCL metering on here, which the first camera that we launched this on was the, um, the 7D, which is a metering system that actually recognises colour. So it means it won't be fooled by very bright colours if you're photographing fruits or if you're photographing brightly coloured cars or okay. things like that. So the 5D Mark II really set a benchmark for video. So how does the Mark III sort of take that on? Well, what we've done, we've improved the video capabilities of this camera with the, the learnings from the 5D Mark II. So there'll be a lot less artefacts and a lot less moray effects. You've also got different compression ratios on here as well depending on your workflow. We've also got a microphone input, but also a headphone headphone socket as well. So it'd be really handy for listening back to your audio just to make sure that's... Yeah, we have, um, uh, there are levels on the microphone, up to 64 levels that you can actually choose on the um, on the headphone and the microphone as well. Excellent stuff. So any other new features like sort of HDR or picture controls? Yeah, we have a, a dedicated button on the back now, which we used to have for picture styles. But now what we do with those is you can actually do HDR, multiple exposures, and do the picture styles as well. The HDR is a really useful function in that you can do it handheld, so the camera will actually auto-align the images, and you can do anything up to three stops either way of the main exposure. And once you've actually shot that, you can actually save them as three individual images and the, the image that's put together, okay. and also you can add effects to it as well. So has the image processor sort of changed? Is it still with Digit 5? Um, we've actually got the Digit 5 Plus on the, the 5D Mark III, and the Digit 5 Plus has actually come from our one series again. The, the, the the 1DX actually has two Digit 5 Plus. This has one inside it. This also gives you an expanded ISO range as well, actually this coupled with the new sensor. And the high ISO is 102,400. Okay, um, so price-wise, what are we looking at? Well, we've got a recommended retail price of £2,999. Um, and it should be available at the end of March. Okay, thanks very much, Dave.